Sunday the 14th of March, six months and ten days away from the Dunderman Track Challenge for dementia. How is this week going? It has been productive, more productive than, than uh, the last couple of weeks. In terms of the charity is set up, Dementia Australia, uh, where you can click on my Facebook page, I'll leave a link at the bottom of this video and if you want to support uh, by a donation or by the way of even just comments on the bottom of the page, uh, maybe a story if, if dementia has affected your family, whatever the case, uh, you can certainly do it either on this YouTube channel page or on my uh, on my Facebook page. So that that setup, uh, I really do encourage people to also give donations in their own areas if that's what uh, they'd rather do if they're affected somebody close to you has been affected and, and somebody's cared for you in your home area. I know that certainly back home in Ireland we have a lot of people that, that are affected, uh, a lot of friends, a lot of family. So, you know, go on to your local dementia or Alzheimer's website. There's usually a way that you can donate through that. Do take a little screen snippet of it with the message or that and, and certainly post it uh, somewhere in on the Facebook page or on the YouTube channel so I can use it as encouragement. Uh, or certainly wherever your local charity is. I know we get people across the board from, from the States till, till uh, all parts of Europe right across the globe watching these videos. So share locally if that's what you prefer or if it's easier, share, uh, share to the Australia Dementia website where I have the link and it's certainly for a great cause. They do a lot of good work in the community with families because it's really the families that can be affected uh, just as bad as the patients, certainly in the early days for the patients, it's a worrying time and stressful time, as too for the family. Unfortunately, as the disease goes on and the patients become less aware of, of what's happening, it's still the family members that have to make them tough decisions and take care of the patients uh, right up until until they have to make the decision to put them in somewhere else. So it's a really hard thing for the families. Really good cause. In terms of training this week, uh, better, better, 100k, in around 100k I might get out again this evening, 32k on the trail yesterday on the Bibbulmun track, 16k out and back, tough, tough little section, a thousand metres so climbing in that 32k, quite technical little parts in it, so that was from North Bannister out to the hut, uh, which name for, escapes me at the minute, really good uh, week so far yoga session and also a session for of strength training there just at the end of the day session so so far really good week you want to see some clips of this week keep watching if you want to jump straight onto that website and start donating or hit the link below or the other way to support this is by sharing the video and sharing the stories really uh, really appreciate everybody's help and support to date that has been mind blown six months to really build it up six months to get my fitness built up so i can get this done a thousand k is is going to be extremely hard and i've got my leave booked in with the other thing i done this week so two weeks booked off thousand k in two weeks could be a challenge don't tell her might need an extra couple of days other than that i hope everybody else is training video that I released but also on the pages only went up in the last two days we're already at five hundred dollars so those were mine thanks to thanks to everybody and I hope you're training school man you're keeping well. Good morning everybody the 11th of March six months and 13 days until I attempt my Boodlum and Track challenge for dementia just an update on how this week's been going so far. Uh, beginning of the week started off very poor in terms of just still felt very flat. I mentioned it last week in the video. Don't know what it was, but it turned out Monday and Tuesday I was very stuffed up in the head. A uh, bit of a head cold coming on, so that might have had something to do with it. I cut back my daily volume during the week where the last few weeks I was aiming for 15 to 17 k a day uh, during the week and this week work's been extremely busy so I have eased that back to 
about 12, 13k a day and pretty much what what I found is that one I have been going this last few weeks whenever the volume was lower I have been adding a lot more volume to it or a lot more tempo and intensity to my runs which was a result of being ready for the delirious west that race not going ahead so using the base that I had to add that tempo just to clean the cobwebs out so to speak but now I very much find that it's very hard to add the tempo and add the volume all at once so I think it's time to ease back start doing the steady consistent runs at a lower pace which is certainly my plan what else have we achieved this week? Got my leave approved. Yeah. So two weeks off for the race in September. For the run in September. It's not a race, it's a run. Uh, two weeks booked off work. So that gives me, which is now my goal, to finish the 1000k in them 14 days. Uh, and hopefully be able to drag my ass into work the following day so we'll see how that goes very much at the point where I'm trying to narrow down the charity to raise awareness for and funds for for dementia uh, so many great causes out there it's, it's hard to narrow it down and at the end of the day more the awareness which kind of area the funds go to this can certainly be up to everybody watching in terms of you can either donate to the charity I choose or certainly find one of your local ones and, and donate to that will be the plan so I'll try and get that locked in over the next day or so and the plan the training plan that's going to get me there in enough shape to run for a thousand kilometers I haven't started yet <laughs> one to keep me really focused I know it's still over six months but that will not be long slipping away and I know that every day that slips away I don't get back still trying to do my core work uh, try and build that strong core so that's happening and yeah that's pretty much the update at this point uh, Saturday the 13th of March we're down on the Bibbulmun track where are we Pete? we're on uh, Bibbulmun track off Albany Highway near North Bannister and we're going heading to White Horse Hill campsite for, uh, 14 and a half k's out and back It'll so a lovely morning a new section we did try this a few weeks Just ago when we got lost. lost yeah Ash is here today to keep us on track and make sure we see the actual markers <laughs> Uh, and this is one of the will be one of the little sections in the the full Bibbulmun track. What are we in? Four k, five k, six k, six point seven. Six point seven, nearly seven. How are we feeling, gents? Very good. Very good. Look at this lovely. Look at this lovely trail. Pete's gonna go over the rocks, and I'm gonna get a video of it. Jump them, Pete. A nice little trail, isn't it? These rocks will be fun, deep into it. I suppose if you're coming from Albany, you're probably about 700k before you get to here, have you? Yeah, we'll go. The rock. Yeah. yeah. So about 750 in probably. 850. 850. This will be nice. Little pointy rocks. Especially if you hit some of these things at night. Yeah. It just all becomes a blur. You definitely want to pace her along these sections like at night time.
got to go right there. Ah, that's the one. That's fun. Nice little downhill, isn't it? You enjoy that, Pete? Yeah. Did you enjoy that little downhill? Yeah, it was actually quite good. Don't know about going back up, right? Eh? <laughs> yeah, that was quite good, that little downhill. We'll worry about that in a little while. Just over 10k, and this is what it looks like. Very nice. Thirteen and a half care roughly, I suppose. Yep. Find another big rock for you, Pete. Yeah. There's a couple of big ones. I wonder what the miss is here, I wonder how far you can see. Yeah. That's good 50, 80 k's. It is, isn't it? A little video on the climbing some of the sections of the Bibbulmum track. 16 k in today roughly. And this is what we have to tend with. So you can imagine the lack of this trail, which certainly has a big majority of it. 4,000 K. I'm just under 16 K at the minute. <laughs> oh, I feel tired.
Come on, quickly, sir. Oh, might be able to pick it up that quickly. How are you feeling after your 30k of loss today, Ash? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah? My legs are a little bit heavy from last week, but uh, not feeling good. Really nice to be on the trails. It's a gorgeous little track, isn't it? Along that section. Really good. Upgrade into a beer while we're away, huh? Yeah, I'll piece of shit. <laughs> Peter Jones. How are you feeling? How many did you get, Pete? Ah, uh, no idea. Dynamic, about 500 metres short of what I needed. 500 metres short of what he needed? Oh, if you go 500 metres oh, then. Stop your watch. <laughs> Sunday the 14th of March, out for a recovery run and some strength training. A little barefoot recovery run. So, let's see how this goes.